Hello and welcome to Chemical Distractions. So in our last video, we took all of the water out of vinegar and we made it into its pure acid form. Today, we're going to be taking that acid, combining it with this alcohol over here, and they're going to sort of weld together to make this new chemical called propyl ethanoate. Now, this stuff is supposed to smell like pears. It's used as a food additive, so I've probably had it before, but I've never had it in its pure form, so we're gonna see what that looks like today. So to a round bottom flask, we slowly add 10 milliliters of glacial acetic acid that we extracted from vinegar. And then we follow it up with 12 milliliters of propanol. This I bought as a hand sanitizer additive. And we finish it off with a nice little dash of sulfuric acid. And after that, we set it for reflux. Now, to those who don't know what reflux is, this is basically a way that we can heat up the liquid without it boiling off. Because once it boils, it gets collected as a liquid and then it drips back down into the flask. I leave it like this for a little over an hour. So what's happening here is, when you have a carboxylic acid, like on acetic acid, and an alcohol, like on this propanol here, these two groups will sort of link together in a process called Fischer esterification. The sulfuric acid that we added is a catalyst that sort of speeds up this process. We then add this to a separatory funnel with a bit of water, and you'll notice the propyl ethanoate slowly starts to float to the top, and the bottom water layer starts to collect a bit of fogginess to it. So I'll give it a shake so that it all mixes thoroughly. And you'll notice it starts to separate again. So what's happening here is the water is supposed to be dissolving all of these polar things that are left over from the reaction, while the nonpolar product is floating on the top. So then we can just take off the bottom layer and we're left with a cleaner product. I add a bit more water and I do this over and over again. And with any luck, we should be able to purify this to a point where it no longer smells disgusting and it's mostly just the pure product, which is the lovely pear smell. We then pour off our final product, and there we have it. Propyl ethanoate, artificial pear smell. All right, so we have the propyl ethanoate here, and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a smell. Uh, Uh, I don't know if I'd say that's a pear smell. It's um, sort of a sharpie highlighter smell. Um, if, you, if you keep a distance, it smells like pears. But if you get your nose right up into it, it's like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the, the thing is, when I was making this, I'm like, what does a pear smell like? This is what a pear smells like. It smells like a pear. I, it, I guess it does have a smell after all. Um, so yeah. Oh, and by the way, thank you for 1,000 subscribers. I did not think in a million years I would get 1,000 subscribers from one video, but here we are. Thank you. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you guys have any comments or anything like that, leave them below. I'm looking for some more content for this channel, so if you got any suggestions, put them down there. Thank you.